Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I've got a quick little tutorial for you. I am going to show you how to securely wipe a drive or partition from the command line. Now, you there, there's all kinds of reasons why you may want to do this. You know, maybe uh, it's a computer that you're selling, it's a hard drive you're selling. Um, you know, th there's all kinds of reasons. In my case, I've got this USB here. Let me hold it up so you can see it. I've got you know a box full of USBs and I use these when I am testing uh, different distributions you know I burn the ISO to the USB and then you know use that for installing it on my system well after going and and using it several times um, for whatever reason it, it it no longer works correctly. I start getting error messages and whatever. What I have found that that fixes everything is to do a secure wipe. Now, if you're wondering what that is, basically we're going to go and put either a zero or a one in every single sector uh, on this particular USB, or you know, if you're doing a hard drive, you know, the hard drive SSD, whatever it is. So that's essentially what we're going to do here. So, we're going to use a command line tool called Shred. Now, let me go and put this USB in my computer here. And in probably just a second, I'll get a pop up notice that, yes, it has, you know, there's what is currently on this. I forget what. Uh, what uh, operating system I, I used this for installing last. But anyway, so that's what's on there right now. I'm going to securely wipe everything off of there. So, first thing that we need to do is we need to know what the drive letter is uh, so that we can identify what needs to be wiped. Now, there's a couple different routes that you can go. You can use Gparted. So, if, so let's just pull up Gparted and I, you know, we'll, we'll look at it from there. And this will take a minute or so on my system just because I've got so many drives. But, you know, fire up Gparted. It will scan all the volumes. All right, so let's take a look. Now I know that that drive is a 16 gig drive. So this one down here, right here, yeah, that's got to be it. 14.99, uh, you know, some of it's going to be used up, uh, you know, partition table and whatnot. So yeah, that's the drive. So I know that it is SDE for the drive. Now, if you want to go strictly command line, you can do this from command line. There's several tools available. Uh, that would allow you to, uh, to to figure out what the drive is. So let me drop down my terminal. And the one that I'm going to use is called parted, as in G parted without the G. So let's do sudo parted dash L for list. It'll ask me for my password. And boom, it gives not only a breakdown of all of the drives, you can see it lists the partitions, start and end sectors, all kinds of information. So all that kind of stuff is listed there for you. And then once again, you can see right here, disk SDE, it's a 16 gig drive, sector size, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, and then, you know, in this case, uh, the last drive right here, I get this warning message, and that's because there is a read-only uh, DVD in the DVD drive, so that's why you're seeing that. So, anyway, there, and there are other uh, uh, command line tools that will give you uh, essentially the same, uh, the same uh, uh, information. 
and actually if if anybody's interested I will do a video on that uh, you know all kinds of different command line tools for partitioning and that sort of thing anyway so we know SDE is the drive that we want to use so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do shred now and actually I will because there's there's a lot of different things or um, not really things but selections that you can make with shred I will leave a link down below to the shred man page so that you can see all of the instructions because you know I could spend all day going over all the different variations on what you could do so let's go and um, let me go and open my terminal up again okay so we are going to do sudo shred dash vfz and and those the the vfz what that is is v is show progress f is change permissions to allow writing if necessary uh, z adds a final overwrite with with zeros <clears throat> now by default it's going to make three passes so it'll overwrite everything three times if you want something different than those three passes you can do a dash n leave space and then however many passes so, I don't know maybe you wanted a five pass or maybe you want to do just one pass that's all you need to do right there I'm gonna stick with the default so I don't need to put that in so now we need to specify what drive so we're gonna do a slash dev slash s d e now you can specify overwriting just a particular partition partition so if um, let's say that uh, partition one was what you wanted to wipe out you could do uh, slash d e v slash s d e one or three or five you know whatever the 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 nomenclature is uh, so you, you don't necessarily have to do the entire drive so anyway, we've got all that in. Click enter, and boom, there we go. It's beginning its passes, and from this point on, it's just a matter of letting it run its course. And and this will take a while, because uh, like I said, it's got to go every sector. It's going to overwrite. So um, you know, there's nothing to do here but sit and wait. So having said all that, that pretty much finishes up this video. Hopefully it helps you out and, uh, and is useful for you. As always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. As I mentioned, I will leave a link to the Shred Man page so that you can look some more information up about this. Um, I'll, I, there's a couple other pages that's got some good information about using Shred, so I'll leave links for those down below in, in the video description as well. Um, but once again, as always, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.